Here at 12 News, we are focused on forestry as well, and the State Forestry Commission is urging Mississippians to be on the lookout for a new infestation. I'm joined now by Jason Scott, here to explain what you may need to know about the emerald ash borer. Thank you for joining me, Jason. Thanks, Jade. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So uh, tell us about the emerald ash borer. What is it exactly? Well, the emerald ash borer is a non-native invasive bug that um, feeds on ash trees. Um, it will feed um, on all types of ash trees, while you know, green ash, white ash, and black ash trees are the most susceptible. Um, right now, there, are, there have been no reported cases of um, infestations in Mississippi, but we know, um, the Forestry Commission, we know that it's coming. Um, Mississippi and Florida are the only two states east of the Mississippi to have yet to report an infestation of uh, this tree-killing insect. Mm -hmm. So is this, is this new to Mississippi? Have we seen this before? No, this, uh, we, like I said, this is the, the emerald ash borer has, uh, to our knowledge, we have not had any outbreaks or infestation of the emerald ash borer in Mississippi yet. Um, which is why we are asking landowners to be on the lookout because um, every state around us has reported um, infestations on some scale. So we know that it's just a matter of time before we do start seeing the, the emerald ash borer in Mississippi. Um, and we want to try to we want to try to do everything that we can to help landowners um, in Mississippi to um, I guess. Uh, mitigate the, the, the damage that this bug could have on the state's ash tree population. How, how can people protect their, their trees from this, from this pest? Well, the, the biggest thing people can do is just learn about it. Um, if, you've got, if you're a landowner who has any ash trees on your property or if, you are a, if you're a city or municipality who has ash trees in their um, urban, urban landscape, um, the biggest thing you can do is educate yourself about what, um, what the signs and symptoms of an emerald ash borer infestation. There, um, a lot of times this, uh, it, this bug is very hard to catch early in the infestation because signs don't really, don't typically appear for one to three years. Um, after infestation, what happens is the, the female will bore into the tr into the ash tree lay her lay her eggs and then the the once the eggs hatch that larva will start eating the uh the bark and the, the inner tissue of the tree and um, that's what actually causes the tree mortality what people will see um is d-shaped holes where those uh adult bugs bore into the tree they will have a very distinct d-shaped hole when they come out of the tree and then the the biggest sign is that the tree canopy will start to die from the top third of the tree canopy will start to die first um, and then that will just lead into the, the rest of the tree following following suit and eventually the tree will the tree will die how bad has it been in other states um you know it, it, across the uh, across the country it, it has been i mean the, the the emerald ash borer has destroyed millions and millions of ash trees across the eastern u.s so um once this bug gets infested it's very hard to kill and it can be very expensive to try to kill especially if you've got a stand of uh, a lot of ash trees um one thing that mississippi we don't uh, mississippi doesn't have a large amount of merchantable with merchantable ash trees which means that um only about three percent of our merchantable wood which that's wood that we can cut and sell are ash trees but where we feel like it's going to be the biggest uh, take could take the biggest toll is for those cities and communities who use ash trees for um, shade trees and in their parks and other outdoor recreation areas. Um, it could, if we see a big infestation of the emerald ash borer, it could be very costly to try to to try to get that uh, infestation under control. Mm -hmm. Where can people get more information if if they have a, a big concern about this? How can they reach you? Um, the biggest thing we can do, we ask people to do, is just uh, again educate yourselves on the signs and symptoms of an emerald ash borer. Of the emerald ash borer, they can get more information by visiting uh, www.mfc.ms.gov, and we have a we have a page on there for the emerald ash borer to like signs, symptoms with pictures on what you can look for. 
Um, but then if you do suspect that if that you have an emerald ash borer infestation on your land or in your community, contact your local uh, MFC Forester immediately so that we can tag that location and we can start working on a plan to uh, to help uh, control the spread of this very, uh, very destructive insect. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for taking a moment and explaining this to our viewers. Thanks again, Jason.